Nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines carrying submarine-launched ballistic missiles SLBM, are the most survivable part of a nuclear triad. While a first strike might wipe out a country's land-based missiles and nuclear bombers, it's very difficult to track and take out ballistic missile submarine patrolling quietly in the depths of the ocean. Since they can't be taken out by first strike and can retaliate against an enemy with SLBMs, no sane adversary will attack a country which possesses a nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine armed with SLBMs. But building a ballistic missile submarine and operating it not only requires very solid technical expertise, but it's also a very costly affair. So very few countries have ballistic missile submarine. India's first indigenous ballistic missile submarine, INS Arihant, meaning Annihilator of Enemies, has successfully completed its first deterrence patrol. Hailing INS Arihant's achievement, Indian Prime Minister Modi said, A credible nuclear deterrence is the need of the hour. Unlike India, the US is not new to this and has been operating nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines for decades. The current Ohio class of nuclear-powered submarines in use by the US Navy is considered to be one of the most lethal platforms in the world. In this video, Defense Updates compares India's INS Arihant to American Ohio class submarines. Let's get started. Ohio class was created to be the ultimate nuclear deterrence. The Ohio class boats entered service in the 1980s as a replacement for five different classes of ballistic missile submarines. The US has 18 Ohio class submarines, 14 ballistic missile submarines, and four that were later converted to guided missile submarines. INS Arihant is the lead ship of India's Arihant class of nuclear powered ballistic missile submarines. Arihant was launched on the 26th of July 2009 and after extensive sea trials was commissioned August 2016. The Ohio class submarines are the largest submarines ever built for the US Navy, having a displacement of 16,764 tons. These have a length of 560 feet, 170 meters. Powered by 22 megawatt reactors, the vessels of this class have a speed of around 20 to 25 knots. They have the capability to reach depths of 240 meters, though the exact number is undisclosed. Being nuclear powered, it has unlimited range and endurance, limited only by food supplies. Patrols generally last an average of 70 to 90 days underwater, with the longest on record being 140 days by the USS Pennsylvania. INS Arihant is much smaller and displaces around 6,000 tons. It has a length of 365 feet, 111 meters. It's powered by an 83 megawatt nuclear reactor, which is able to drive the vessel at a speed of around 24 knots. It's thought to be able to operate at depths of 1,150 feet or 350 meters. Like Ohio class submarines, INS Arihant has unlimited range and endurance limited only by essential supplies. The Ohio's are larger, which has many advantages, enable it to carry more supplies for higher endurance as well as will help in other parameters, but its large size also makes it easier to detect, though its acoustics is much better and will nullify this to a great extent. An important aspect is that INS Arihant is capable of diving deeper. There's very little to choose between them in this category. The 14 ballistic missile submarines of Ohio class together carry approximately 50% of the total U.S. active inventory of strategic thermonuclear warheads. Each Ohio class ballistic missile submarine carries 24 Trident II D5 SLBM. These have a range of 11,000 kilometers. As Trident II D5 is multiple independent reentry vehicle, MIRV, capable, each of this missile is able to deploy eight warheads, and each of these warheads is having destructive power equivalent to 100 or 475 kilotons of TNT. In short, a full salvo from an Ohio class submarine which can be launched in less than a minute, could unleash up to 24 multiple eight, that is, 192 nuclear warheads. INS Arihant, being much smaller, carries only a fraction of payload carried by Ohio class submarines. It can carry 12 K 15 Sagarika or four larger K 4 SLBM. K 15s have a range of 750 kilometers 
whereas K-4 estimated to have a range of 3,500 kilometers. Neither of the missiles is MIRV enabled and hence at max INS Arihant can deploy 12 warheads. The yield of the warhead is not disclosed but a fair guess will be around 100 kilotons. To give viewers a perspective little boy atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima had a yield of 15 kilotons of TNT and fat man atomic bomb that was detonated over Nagasaki had a yield of 21 kilotons of TNT. Ohio class completely dominates this category and clearly demonstrates why even a single one of this is deadly for any rival. Both of these carry torpedoes however these are intended primarily for self-defense. Ballistic missile submarines are not intended to proactively hunt enemy ships and submarines but their mission is to lay low and provide the enemy as little a chance as possible in detecting them. Ohio class submarines come armed with four 21 inch tubes that can launch Mark 48 torpedoes. Mark 48 torpedo has a range of 50 kilometers. It has a 650 pound 290 kilogram high explosive warhead. INS Arihan is also equipped with 21 inch torpedo tubes but it has six of these compared to Ohio's four. Arihant is expected to deploy India's indigenously developed torpedo Varunastra. Varunastra has a maximum range of 40 kilometers and carries a 550 pound 250 kilogram warhead. There's not much to differentiate between them in this category as Arihant has more tubes but Ohio will be able to stock more torpedoes because of its larger size. Ohio class submarines are way more destructive than the INS Arihant. US Navy is already on its way to developing the next generation Columbia class submarines that will slowly replace the Ohio class. Arihant is India's first attempt and a good one. It's capable in its role of providing a deterrence against China and Pakistan. Viewers may note that the next vessel of the Arihant class, the INS Adigad, will be larger in size and carry twice the missiles of INS Arihant. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.